We just pulled up to the first yard sale of day two of Peaches to the Beaches route sale and we are in this super nice neighborhood. Today we are headed north and it looks like, I mean it's like 45 degrees right now, but it's not raining so I'm not going to complain. And um, yeah, there's only like two other cars at this neighborhood and it's right like 7.10 in the morning. So we have high hopes of finding something good. Start. <laughs> Cool. Little brass floral bookends for five bucks. They're marked 1965 Colonial Virginia and Hampton. Well, Hampton, Virginia. Double Virginias. It's pretty sick. There's some, uh, that was hot massive. We know nothing about it, but. <laughs> the one with the handle? These ones? It feels so that, quality. They don't have the swirls. Those are cool though. Brass bookings, 1965 for five bucks. What did you say that brand was? It's just a, for the chef square. Chef yeah, these are segmented. Chef square. Yeah, that, that feels like very sturdy. I've never seen anything like that. It's cool. cool, aren't they? They're just holding up one lone book over there on the side. I don't think we need one. Have you guys already been to the other part up here? I've been to one of them. I'm just the wood stamps. Well, at least I found the school bookends. No, it's just like um, stamps and ribbon. An empty bathroom. I'm gonna look in this kitchen one more time. No idea what they go to. <laughs> it says right on here, little Pioneer stereo receiver. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys have any flatware? No. Okay. No, I'm disappointed in that because we didn't have any flatware. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I wish.
What did you find? Just a yadra. Just a little yadra. Aw, she's cute. Yeah, she's got little flowers and stuff. Yeah. Like I say, it's so casually. <laughs> so it looks like this little nut sells for like anywhere from $15 to $25 with free shipping. So I'll take that too. These pans are pretty cool right here. These chef mates. Like this set sold sells for about $80 with free shipping, which is probably about 60 bucks. But it's priced at $25, so not really worth the hassle. Do I pay you or somebody um, else? The lady. In here, I'll find her. Blue. Okay. Kathy. I'll hunt her down. Hey, Kathy. Yes. Got a question here. Hi there. Hi. I have your bookends here that have $5 and then this random little remote. The random remote? Uh -huh. What is that going to do? A Pioneer receiver. Um, we don't have a receiver anymore, do we? Oh, yeah, that, you can have the receiver. Well, I will give you at least a dollar for it. So, six bucks. There you go. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, this is a cool book. They are. That was the very first thing that caught my attention. I love them. Those are cute. I like that. Aren't they? They're nice and heavy. Don't hold yeah. up the yeah. angle up if necessary. Like the things on there. She find something good? Yeah. Maybe some ornaments? Okay, cool. Yeah. Stuff to fix up. Yeah. I just mark on it. Okay. Another big box. That's like a that's like a mid box. I'll allow it. I'll open up. Another big. It's a, box. It's another small you know what? I don't. I'm fine. Thank you, you though. Fine? Yeah, okay. I'm good. Okay. Thank you, though. You guys good? Yeah, I'm good. I'll you ready to pick? Mm-hmm. I owe somebody five dollars. Oh, this Christmas? Yeah. There you go. Thank you. All right, thanks again. Thank you guys. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. I thought it was art sliding out there. Good morning. Good morning. Lots of clothes. A lot of them have tags on them still. Okay. Um, they're not marked. Did you see all the year? I'm sorry, I'm still going to No, you're fine. I was just sneaking a peek. Just got them on Amazon and didn't send them back. Yeah, it happens. Thank you. I found a sealed VHS. Can you guess where it is? <laughs> Based on your history. Based on my, um, it's either Jesus or. It's Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I got it right. I should get like five bucks or something for that. What was the question? He said he found a sealed VHS. Guess what it is? Uh -huh. And I said, based on our past, Jesus. <laughs> it's a common one to see still in the plastic. <laughs> I really should win a prize for that. Like no lie, it's too good. Got a lot of it is so. cold. It's freezing out here. Better than raining, I guess, though. Yes. How much are your bags? 25. Okay. You buy both of them, I'll do 40. Okay. for all these right here um i'll do 80. 80. Mm -hmm. hmm. how much is this one right here that one i'll do eight eight okay mm -hmm. so 48 for these right here mm -hmm. how much is a wallet um I'll sorry do... making you remath <laughs> 
I'll do 55 for everything. Or 55 for these. Okay. So. Okay, that sounds good. There's 55. All right. Thank, thank you, you so much. Mm -hmm. All right. Some nice little bags to start the day. So I paid 55 bucks for all of these little bags here. These are like the smaller little Michael Kors tote purses. And I want to say these sell for anywhere between like 45 and maybe like 65. But even if I sell them for like let's just say 50 ish, ish, 50 ish, 50 ish each, that's a hundred. Plus I would guess 25 bucks for this wallet. So that puts us at 125. And then this Kavu, 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 however you however you say it, should be I don't know maybe like 20. It really depends on the pattern. I just sold one recently for 50 bucks, but it was a more like sought after pattern. This one, I'm not sure how great it is or isn't, but like a minimum, I would say 20 bucks. So, I don't know. Hopefully, I'll be somewhere close to like 150 for that 50 bucks. We'll see. thinking about that. So it looks like it sold there for 75. Now it's sold for best offer on 70. Oh. It might be like completely new in there. Which means it'd be worth way more. I'm gonna try and pick. No, I don't want to put in the wet grass. If this is sealed, I'm gonna put it. Actually, I think the card, the cardboard is all the way down in there sealed. So the last ones of this new sold for 175 bucks. So I am going to take it, even though I'm trying to only buy small stuff. Good snack. Oh, I'm, I'm going to go grab my wallet okay. real quick. I don't think you guys can hear me at all with that space maker, even though the box is open, it's sealed inside, and the comps on that particular model are going for like 175 dollars new in the box. Even though the box is open, it should be like a minimum of 150 bucks. And they're a pretty quick seller, especially that model. I think I've sold that same exact one that I got last year at the Peaches to Beaches route sale that was used. And I want to say it sold for like $75. So 15 into 175 is a great deal. All right, I paid the lady. Now let's grab our space maker. 
Hi. Oh, I'm the only one that doesn't get barked at. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. The dog knows. You know what's up, don't you? I'm the nice one. Oh my gosh. This is the cutest puppy ever. Thank you. What kind of dog is this? She's a mix between a miniature schnauzer and a shizu. Okay. Um, and she was the runt of a litter and nobody wanted her and so we took her and oh. just so runts are usually the best dog. She is awesome. Oh. <laughs> Clearly she has great taste. Cheers. So I didn't get the barks. Oh my gosh, this dog. Oh. She just came right up to me and started loving right on me. She knows quality <laughs> character. She Barking like crazy. No, she yeah, knows. <laughs> she hated you, so she's a very smart dog. What? What's her name? Izzy. Izzy. Look, she is. Izzy, I'm disappointed. <laughs> How can I? Come on. Come on. Don't do it, Izzy. Izzy, do it. Ah, oh, Izzy, you're breaking my heart, girl. Let me ask my daughter. She's the seller. Sydney, nope. is this belt buckle a dollar, sweet pea? Izzy's a hot one. Izzy, I'm right here. <laughs> See, I know. See, I know. I think she actually just barked at Matt, too. I like your Crocs. Thank you. All right, I'm going to go shop. I'm going to go shop. I really wouldn't. Oh man, this is uh... So we're actually going to get to officially walk the plank. You should at least do it some style, like gymnastic style. With the hands out to the side or do the high toes all the way. I would mess up. I would fall over. What kind of food are we talking? Not similar. Oh, Matt's going on the other plank. What is it? No, no bueno. Don't even try. Listen, 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 I have that same shirt that I bought for like a really? sweet shirt. That's <laughs> yes. so awesome. <laughs> that's, that's my, uh, my, the county is the, I'll go. It is dark over here. These knives are cool. Oh, Japan. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, full set of six. Mm. Even though these don't have a brand on there, those are like the perfect mid century modern like look. Let's see how much they want. Kind of the same in the sunlight. You guys probably can't even see that. In the sun. It's a cool little chrome slicer. The vibe of it. This your tail? Ah, yes. The nice. All right. How about a dog? Sounds good. Richard. 
Yeah, you were a customer, right? Didn't you buy that shirt? Yeah, yeah. I'll try a bite of a rib. <laughs> free rib? That's some service. Buy something from the sale, get a free sample. Just a bite, though. I don't want to take too much. <laughs> Oh, well, she's going to want a piece. Yeah, I'll okay, eat that. Okay. I'll eat that. No, give her that piece. Oh, I don't yeah. need any. Thank you, though. <laughs> you try. I'll make sure she tries. The best rib you ever eat. The best rib you ever eat. Oh, y'all heard it. I'll grab one. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate it. I bet you're wishing you bought something right about yeah, now. I'll do it. You want to try it? But they go with something for Yeah, I'll try it. Okay. Thank <laughs> you so much. Grab anyway. a plate right there, man. I, I can crazy. share with them, too. You want to share? That's your no, he's, bite, yeah, man. that's, okay. yeah, I like the way he stinks. I can't that's have your bite, that's your bite, right? I used to have a big brother said, let me, he was a big boy, too, mm -hmm. heavyweight wrestler. Bigger than me? Yeah, about as big as you, and, uh, Not much people he said, let me have a swallow you drink. <laughs> there wouldn't be nothing with that one. Don't, Don't ever share with you. Sounds brother. about right. <laughs> All right, Richard, thank, thank you so much. You're welcome. You thank you for stopping by. Thank you. you. Good stuff. Thank you. You like it? So fatty, but it's delicious. Both of y'all with dirty yards on hands. <laughs> he had his hunting knife over there to on the side that was like all slimed up. <laughs> I'm not even done with it. You gotta tell me that. It looked clean. I will say it looked cleaner. I would have warned you first. It was seriously like spotless. I was just peeping it because it looked like a good knife. So I was being nosy. So the guys are finishing up their um, free ribs they got for buying something at the sale. But the last one, I did not wear my camera and I picked up this. Well, I've actually called it like five different things. I thought it looked like a dog collar. And I was thinking it was a coat rack or a leash holder. I don't know. I think I called it like three different things. But it is actually like an antique half circle pot holder and it's solid brass. I, I haven't done a lot of research, but I did see one that sold on Etsy for like $119. And then there was one listed on eBay for like $90. I, I think it was $89. So I only paid five bucks for it either way. So super cool pickup and yeah, solid brass and really heavy duty. Of course, I wouldn't film with that sale, but it's okay. Sale after sale after sale. So this is where I'm going to leave you guys today. I hope you all have enjoyed this little Peaches to the Beaches route sale series with my buddy Matt over at Part-Time Pickers and Paul the Philly Flipper. If you guys haven't already, be sure to check out their channels. They both make great content as well. And also, if you haven't seen my series from last year of the Peaches to the Beaches, that is also available for your viewing pleasure on my channel obviously um but anyways um this was the end of day two i was feeling a little overstimulated so i only recorded at a few of the sales and honestly come day two there are so many people out picking on the route sales there's just not as many finds available either we still managed to find some good finds especially the guys so that's why there's a little bit less footage from today than there was the first day of the sale. Anyways, I'll see you guys next Thursday with a couple awesome estate sales. As always, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys so much, and I'll catch you in the next one.